step into the cage inside. Hello and welcome to the Views Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make my highly requested Views Cajun Sauce. Yes, that's the name of this. <laughs> I think everything's going to be named Views, right? So this is going to be our Views Cajun Sauce. What you need first is a warm pan, okay? Once your pan is warm, you want to put it on really low. And I'm going to have to adjust back and forth with my burner. But at home, you want to put it really low. And what you want to do is you want to add a drizzle of oil. Whatever oil you choose. This is canola oil. Okay, this is my ultimate favorite seasoning. This is the Santa Cruz chili powder that I've been using my whole life. I grew up with it. My mom used it. Um, I have the links to this chili powder down below. Um, if you guys are going to call and use this chili powder... Uh, make sure you ask for Armida and tell her you want the one pound bag, which is like $7 plus your shipping wherever you may live. And let them know that Stephanie from Views on the Road sent you so that maybe future, in the future, we can get a discount of some sort. You're going to add one fourth of your um, chili powder. This is the Santa Cruz. So let's go ahead and pour that in there. Okay. One fourth, four tablespoons is going to work for us. So what you want to do is you want to incorporate it with the oil, okay? If you notice that it's a little bit too dry and you're going to need a little bit more, just give it another drizzle. Don't be scared of the oil for this. You're about to spoil yourself, okay? Your pan is, might be on simmer at home, just on the lowest, because what happens with chili powder, especially this one, if you don't do it well, or cook it properly, it will get bitter. It's kind of like if you use too much paprika, how it gets really bitter. It's, is that style. If you guys are new to my channel, cooking is my ultimate favorite thing to do. Oh my God, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. It's cooking time, it's cooking time, it's cooking time. Oh yeah! <laughs> now I have like the smoke part in here and I still need to cook it just slightly a little bit more. We just need a little bit of that heat to transform this on its own. And let me tell you, once you use this chili powder and you cook it, you can smell almost like I want to say like Santa Fe style. Like you know how you think of something like really chilly and saucy? Well it kind of... It smells Santa Fe style like chili in a way. This company is based out of Arizona. I know you guys think Santa Cruz. I think there's a California, but this one's based out of Arizona. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at it. So once we have that, let's go ahead and turn our, our burner back on. Once you have incorporated and this is warmed up, um, I don't think I brought another spoon. Yeah, I do have one. Let me bring it up. It just changes the color of it. If it's anything darker than this, or if it goes into a maroon, don't. You're going to have to start all over. So it's better. It's kind of those things with salt that take it easy and get your group into it. Yeah. A few of the people that were part of my, um, my box winning, my box winners, um, really enjoy this one. Next. I have some fresh chicken broth. I try to keep this on hand whenever it's a special recipe. If you don't have this, you can use your um, your chicken broth from a can, but it's still gonna be a different flavor. You want this flavor that I'm tasting, you're gonna have to boil your chicken and make mole, make whatever you're gonna do, but keep your chicken broth. In here, I have three cups of chicken broth, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here. When I boil my chicken, the only thing that I add is uh, half an onion for a whole chicken. I add half an onion and a sprinkle of salt, not too much, so that way I can add um, the salt for whatever recipe I'm gonna make. Okay, so now we're gonna pour in our our chicken broth. Once you've poured your chicken broth, you know what you need to do. We're gonna mix this. Make sure it's all incorporated with this sauce. 
when I make my sauce, like this sauce can go, you just tweak certain ingredients and it can go for a hearty, savory chicken dish or it can go for um, what we're doing at our Cajun, our Cajun sauce, we're keeping it saucy. Okay. Once you've added your chicken broth, you're gonna add, I know we are a naughty bunch here. This views club is naughty, naughty. I wouldn't say naughty, we just know how to eat, right? So you're gonna add half a cup of butter or eight tablespoons, which is what this is. So I'm just gonna slice these up really thin so they melt easier in here. You want a beautiful shiny sauce for whatever you do. It's gonna be the oil or the butter. That's how you get the shiny, glossy, Italian restaurant looking sauce. Okay. Make sure your burner is on low. You don't want to turn this heat up just yet. So let's go ahead and add our butter. Okay. I don't know if you guys are very hands on with your food at home when you cook, but I am. And I keep my hands clean. So make sure that butter is melting in here incorporating properly Ooh. for all my vegan and vegetarian family out there um, I'm using this new product that's a vegetable seasoning for like soups and stuff that I found in Anaheim last time I was there and this lady told me that this is a really good um, vegetable broth so I'll post it on the poll on my feed here on YouTube um, to show you guys the one that I've been using in case you're interested in uh, doing an alternative version of this for yourselves. For those of you that have been with me for from the beginning because I started off cooking more, I definitely like home cooked food better than fast food and stuff like that. Um, I've always said make it comfortable for your home. So if you see one ingredient here that you don't have but you still want the sauce, roll with it. Adjust it to what you have in your house. You don't have chicken broth, use, make your own broth, like chicken bouillon, vegetable broth, whatever it is, right? So we're just gonna wait for our butter to melt. You know, the beautiful thing about this chili powder is that it gives you kind of like a citrusy taste to it. Not bitter, but just citrusy. So just the butter and those two ingredients on their own right now are like bomb.com. I had a few people comment about how I breathe after I bite things. Yes, I live in the desert. I have a lot of allergies. Um, I've always had sinus problems. And there is a lot of breathing in my channel. I'm human. I breathe. <laughs> I'm a mouth breather, a nose breather. Step into the Cajun side. Right now, it already smells like a boil. It smells so good. I need smell-o-vision right now. Get ready. All the details are gonna be down below if I have to make any type of adjustment, but to start off, we're gonna put some paprika, okay? Boom. Smoked paprika, regular paprika. Use paprika. That is one, that was one teaspoon of paprika. You got one teaspoon of can you guess what it is? White pepper. Okay. We have one tablespoon of lemon pepper. What else do we have here? We have one teaspoon of uh, ginger powder. Don't use fresh ginger if you have it. Keep it with the powders for this recipe. Yeah, I use my fingers. I mean, the grizzly will be eating this. <laughs> and then right here, this is a personal preference, but I really like it in my cooking. Um, like I said, I like a lot of flavor in my food. Um, so this is some mustard powder. Okay. And this is also a preference if you want to use garlic powder. Or leave it out you can last time I did it I can't remember if I used garlic powder but I'm gonna do it for this one okay so go ahead and that is uh, I believe it's a teaspoon of garlic powder 
teaspoon garlic powder. It was a teaspoon of mustard. And here's the difficult part of cooking for someone in the type of household that I grew up in. We kind of just eyeball things. So when I have to share a recipe with you guys, I really have to center myself to make it to where you can kind of tweak it here and there and adjust it for your own home. That's kind of why I say that too, because everybody cooks differently and my eyeballing is very different than your guys' eyeballing. So all the ingredients and the amounts that I used are gonna be uh, in the description box and you guys don't peek in there, but I have a lot of information whenever you guys need it. Now that we've added auto, all of our dry ingredients, um, I'm gonna tell you guys this one. If you don't have the Hunt's tomato sauce, it might not come out that good because there's things that I use a different kind of tomato sauce and it, the flavor just doesn't come through for me for what I particularly like. But if you have a different kind, go ahead. This one is 100% natural Hunt's uh, tomato sauce. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to add half of this one in here. Um, and you can just start adding as you like, okay? Adjust it to, to the flavors of your home. And next for our final, yep. No, not our final. <laughs> Next, it's uh, this is two tablespoons of ketchup. Yes. Hoo hoo hoo. All right, now now we're talking. Now we're saucing. Okay, so make sure you mix this around and incorporate it properly. And you're gonna want to put it on simmer just until your sauce thickens up just slightly. It's not gonna get crazy thick but it is going to thicken up with that chili powder that I use um it's very natural they I believe they dry it like outdoors the chili and they don't add any extras to it which is great oh man this tastes so good I can't wait for that king crab I really thought that the alfredo sauce was going to be the winner for me for king crab forever but after having it with this one I was like yeah we can we can kick it I'm just so particular about my food, you know. I've tried several like recipes like online and I always end up like just doing my own thing. I've always been like that. I'm going to taste it to see if we need anything extra and at that at that point once your sauce has reached a little bit of a warm boil, a uh, low boil, that's when you can taste your sauce to see if you're going to add a little bit of salt, more whatever seasoning that you prefer. Um but yeah. The only thing I can say is take it easy on the lemon pepper because that can get really strong and take away from your sauce. And if you like more of a limey um, sauce, then make sure to keep your, um, your lime on the side or wait until you completely turn off your sauce to add the lemon. And slightly because lemon will pick up like this when you use it with butter. Hmm. Mm, que rico. That's so good. I like that. I like it a lot. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this tomato can. I don't want it to go to waste for me. And my last ingredient um, is going to be some chicken broth. You guys know which one I use. I use a Nor chicken broth. That's my favorite one for my food. Um, and I'm sure you guys are aware it has a lot of ingredients in there, but I really like it. So we're going to put one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, I think, because I'm going to sprinkle it and then taste it. You got to taste your food along the way. I know a lot of you guys don't like to cook, but you guys need to start. It's really important for us to cook for our families. And I know a lot of you working mamas and dads like don't have time for it, but if you want to, you really can truly do it. Take one day out of the week and boil your chicken that you're going to use for the week, you know? Have your items set and make it easier. Your own little industrial kitchen with everything just prepped, ready to go. That's kind of how I have to do it too, you know? A lot of people don't think that when you stay at home and take care of your family that it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I know the lighting makes things look less... Um, bright and it just changes the color of things but if I didn't use lighting you guys wouldn't be able to see my face in this room but this sauce is red it's like a terracotta ish red and then with the oil and the butter ooh. so I'd say let it simmer for a good 10 minutes make sure you stir it continuously and we're set okay amigos my viewers we're done 
this is how you make my delicious secret views Cajun sauce. So it's not a secret anymore. Share it, enjoy it, tag me. Um, if you guys can't get the sauce quite right, message me. I'll help you out with that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Adios.